Uh, this is the first time I've willingly participated in something I can't pronounce. <laughs> so bear with me if it sounds like I'm reading because I am. My presentation includes pictures like this one I took along with some taken by my daughter Vivian, who was seven. My thought here is that the big donut, the cinder block box of a shop located off of US 31 South in downtown, is beautiful and is art. John Keats wrote, Beauty is truth, truth beauty, that is all ye know on earth and all ye need to know. He didn't know he was talking about a place located between a tire store and a tanning parlor where you could get 15 tans for $15. But he knew he was talking about the poetic value of the true experience and the importance of honest, heartfelt art. Give me plenty of time to look at the picture. <laughs> Let's start with the name of this place. Big is an honest adjective. It lacks the lame exaggeration of huge or enormous. It isn't scary like gigantic or monstrous. It doesn't feel fat or excessive or greedy or lazy. Big feels true. The place itself isn't very big. That's why it isn't called the Big Donut Shop. The name comes from a particular big donut they sell. It's glazed yeast and about the size of a basketball. I didn't take a picture of it, so you'll have to imagine it. I ate the Big Donut once, and it wasn't fun. But these guys here seem like they're having fun. Andre Breton, the founder of the Surrealist Movement, and also a poet, wrote, The essential is always to look ahead, to remain sure that one has not forfeited the burning desire for beauty, truth, and justice, toilingly to go onwards toward the discovery, one by one, of fresh landscapes. If you look at it right, the Big Donut, like a lot of places with unconventional beauty, is a very fresh landscape. It's art that most people look at, but don't see. I would say that donuts are edible art. So round and pretty and shiny. My son Max, who's pictured here, is one critic who agrees. Just look at it. <laughs> That's all I have for this slide, you just look at it. <laughs> the Big Donut doesn't become art by being photographed or painted or moved and rebuilt in the forefront gallery at the IMA. <laughs> It's already an art installation, complete with actors putting on performances for all who visit. Does it matter if any of this art is intentional? Not in the least. My daughter took that picture of them, they didn't know what was going on. <laughs> When William Carlos Williams wrote, No Ideas But in Things, he was saying, don't overlook the beauty of the real and actual world by spending so much time in the abstract and symbolic. The back wings of the hospital where nothing will grow lie cinders in which shine the broken pieces of a green bottle. That was a poem called Between Walls that Williams wrote in 1934.
I think the back walls of the big donut are poetic. In a picture, but especially in person. So it is always an art show with splatters of donut grease on a blue dumpster instead of paint on a canvas. No artist necessary. Max Ernst, a surrealist everybody should know about, said, Art has nothing to do with taste. Art is not there to be tasted. This quote has nothing to do with my slideshow. I just wanted to include Max Ernst in this somehow. Yeah. I want to end this by reading a poem by the Chinese poet Li Po. All the birds have flown up and gone. A lonely cloud floats leisurely by. We never tire of looking at each other, only the mountain and I. The birds have vanished down the sky. Now the clouds drain away. We sit together, the mountain and me, until only the mountain remains. Thank you.